just to show you the beautiful and brilliant colors of this butterfly for one second uh, without artificial light here we see the underside of the butterfly I know how to handle them the way I'm currently holding it in my hand does not damage the butterfly and uh, when I release it it will be perfectly fine I'm just showing this for YouTube okay let's get back to the video hello there everybody my name is Bart Coppens and I am a supplier of butterflies many people who follow this YouTube channel know that this is my hobby but not many people know this is also my job I supply specimens of um, sustainably farmed insects to museums and um, other institutions where they are used for art projects and more and today I'm going to show you how to properly hang up tropical butterfly pupa in your own home that's right, you don't need a fancy butterfly garden or a greenhouse or a tropical breeding facility to hatch them in your own domestic environment. So what do I have here? Take a look. It's a cage filled with butterflies. Let me open it up for you. Can you see them fly around here? Let me pick up the camera to give you a brief look. Now what do we see here? It's a little bit of a dirty cage, but it honestly it does the job. So I'm going to take one out to show to you. Um, they are beautiful, brilliant blue morpho butterflies as you can see. Uh, they're in excellent condition. And most importantly, I hatch these at room temperature in my own home without extra humidity or anything else. So here we can see the Alright, so now the cage is devoid and empty of unnecessary contents. So let's take a closer look. First of all I'm going to address the elephant in the room and that's how dirty this cage is. Truth is, if you want to hatch butterflies you should be mentally prepared for a big mess. What you're seeing here is normal. Butterflies, when they just hatch from their pupa, they release a fluid from their body that's called meconium. Meconium uh, is basically uh, a waste product. Um, and this waste product was formed inside the cocoon or pupa when the body of the caterpillar was basically um, metamorphosized into the body of a butterfly. Basically it's because um, digestive enzymes have breaken, broken down all the cells of the larva and um, basically a completely new body was formed inside the pupa and as you can imagine these biological pro processes they, um, they also make a lot of waste because not 100% not of all the organic material um, will be used in the formation of a new body and basically it's a metabolic process and metabolic processes they generate metabolic waste now that sounds very technical but it's just logical you know um, second of all pupa butterfly pupa um, they are not able to uh, you know excrete anything just to say it very bluntly butterfly pupa they cannot poop Meconium is actually not poop, it's, this is not excrement uh, in the sense that it's not their digested food, it's purely metabolic waste. But they cannot excrete it um, when they are inside their own pupa. So instead all this waste goes to the abdomen of the butterfly or moth and it's expelled when it just hatched. And here's a fun fact, human babies have this too. Freshly born human babies, um, when they are born I believe the, when they are just born many of them will have like this green excrement. This is also a sort of the equivalent of meconium. I think it's dead body cells and other things that basically are waste products from the formation of the body. So let's get started. What do we see here? This is, this is a very simple setup but I'm not, I don't have a professional butterfly garden. I'm just a hobbyist. But um, not many people realize how simple this is. So I'm going to turn this upside down. First of all, these pupa, they are supposed to hang. Right? 
This is the first and uh, most important thing. If your butterfly uh, is uh, a member of the Nymphalidae family, then they need to hang upside down in order for a successful enclosure. If I, should, I should say eclosure. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add more pupa. This is basically very simple. Here I have a fresh box of Morpha butterfly pupa. Just arrived, were farmed for me especially because it's my job. And here we have the cage with the other pupa. And what I have in here is it's called cotton wool. It's cotton wool. And cotton wool is very adhesive. So what I do is I have a tube of glue, literally bison kit. And I glue all these individual pupa to these, uh, to these cotton pads. And when they are stuck, well, when they are stuck, uh, I flip the cage upside down and it works great so far. So let's see, let's add a little glue here. Push it in there. Take a pupa. Now, this should stick like crazy. If we wait a little bit, it should be uh, ready. So let's glue some more. And this is going to take it's going to take a while, alright? So I'm not going to film all of it. Just so you get the basic here of what I'm doing. Sorry, I just had something in my eye. Not sure what. Okay, let's go. Adding glue, pupa, some of this cotton wool. It's a coincidence that the pupa were also packed to the same material, so let's take some of this stuff. Let's see if there's some space here. Um, let's see, is there space? Oh yeah, over here. So I put some glue here. Take the cotton wool, put it on the glue. So then that's how we're creating some, some pads. To glue a pupa onto. Sorry if I ramble a little bit, I'm very concentrated right now and also filming. So here are a few new pads. And what we do next is we, we add some glue here to the side. It's really a very crude, very crude system to be honest, but it, it works really. This is the most important thing here. You add some glue. And what you can do is so you, you can press this pupa under here. Make sure they are trapped between the glue and the cotton wool, and it will attach. It will at at attach extremely fast. So if I should, if I would turn the cage upside down, these are basically they are attached. They are stuck to the cotton wool now. And these white things here are empty shells. They are the empty shells of already hatched butterflies. The green ones are the ones that are about to hatch. Really, they are still the live ones. Um, I think this one is in the process of hatching. I should remove it soon. But um, first I'm going to finish this operation in the video. And so far my um, positive hatch rate has been about 90%. So this is a very good method if you don't owe a butterfly garden. Alright, so I'm finished gluing the pupa and I just flipped the cage upside down. This is what it looks like. As we can see, one of them is already hatching, so that's a good sign. Looking good. Okay everyone. 
I will make this quick because the weather outside is terrible, but here we can see some expected results. Let's open up the cage carefully and see what we got. As you can see, we have successfully hatched many morpho butterflies. All of them are looking quite good with no deformations and no death. All of this without a tropical butterfly greenhouse, without any magic tricks, without heating. It's all possible. So let's take one of the freshly hatched specimens here. It looks very good. Ah, there you go. That's excellent, isn't it? So if you wanted to hatch tropical morpho butterflies, this is the way to go. Go on, go on, little guy. Oh, it looks like he doesn't want to leave. So let's see how many we hatched. Quite a few of them. Here's some more. Looking good, my friends. Thanks for watching and until next time.